Today, I'm going to show you how to disintegrate Doctor Strange, or anyone else really for that matter, in Affinity Photo on the iPad. This disintegration technique has been used many times over the years in films and TV shows, most recently in Avengers Affinity War and Avengers Endgame. This tutorial is a lot of fun. It's going to require more than just a snap, so let's get into it. So here we are back inside Affinity Photo on the iPad and we've got a screen grab here from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Now, I know Doctor Strange got snapped away in Affinity Ward. Spoiler alert, should have said that first, sorry. But uh, we're going to snap him away out of Multiverse of Madness. And uh, I took this screen grab because it's, it's quite nice. It looked as if he's in, he's, in, uh, he's in a bit of trouble and I think this effect will work quite well. So first of all, I want to remove him from the back background so we're going to go to the selections persona we're going to go to the smart selection brush bring it up a decent size and we'll get nice and close and see how it's looking here we'll change the mode to subtract just to get rid of this wee guy in the background and sometimes as always when using smart selection brush you kind of have to go oh two fingers two fingers undo and two fingers will drag the the canvas two fingers will undo three fingers to redo two fingers to drag the canvas sometimes you have to go between the two modes and let's subtract this bit and then re-add a bit of this hair and normally that's just because affinity photos just struggling a wee bit to distinguish what his hair is or what his face is and that's why by choosing a lower brush size it just does a bit better of a job and see if we can get that wee bit when we go into the refined edge it'll clean up a lot of this too but uh, it might struggle a wee bit just because of the the backgrounds are quite similar or the colors are quite similar between the background and this floor or whatever it is but uh, it's, it's not doing too bad and we'll see how it looks I, I would be tempted maybe to use the pen tool but seeing this is just uh, for for this dispersion effect we're just going to use a smart selection brush will do it quickly so we're going to refine the edge we're going to just get a Fendi photo just to take a second look at this bit of his hair although that doesn't look too bad Just see how the preview is looking. And that's it on white. Looks okay. We'll maybe, we'll maybe touch these wee bits up a wee bit. And we'll, we will just put it on a new layer and apply. So now it's hidden the background layer. We've got Doctor Strange in a new layer. And I'm just going to make a, a white fill layer. Also just to put it in the background. Just so we can really see what's going on. And with Doctor Strange we'll go back to the photo persona. We'll go to the erase brush. Quite often I use masking, but just for the purposes of this video, I don't. I think the, this will work better than masking. And I'm just trying my best just to tidy this wee bit up. Just clean these wee edges up. And a lot of this side of the face won't matter too much because it's being, it's being disintegrated I suppose the word disintegrate it away so that looks quite good I'm going to duplicate this layer so we'll click on the move tool we'll simply duplicate it and now we have two Doctor Strange's a fill layer and a background layer if we want to use it I'm going to hide the top layer Doctor Strange and on the bottom layer I want them to look as if there's lots of particles missing from them. So to do that, we're going to add a mask to this layer. So use the plus icon, click and mask layer. And now this is the fun bit. We're going to go to the Brushes Studio. And I haven't actually used the Brushes Studio much. There's tons and tons of different brushes we can use. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to go across to sprays and splatters and there's a few at the bottom here i think would work quite well let's have a wee look we'll maybe try this fine spray 
So we'll bring the brush up nice and big and seeing we're masking the layer, we need to change the color from white to black. And now if we just splatter Dr. Strange, it'll hopefully look as if we'll maybe bring it up quite big. So we'll have different, uh, that's too big, Andrew. Redo, undo. Uh, we'll have different kind of size of, of, of particles. And again, that's a wee bit too big. You can see some kind of, of, of splats. And actually, the harder you push down this brush, the bigger the splats get. So if we just tap. Yeah, it's quite nice. I don't want to do it there. That's just the example to see what's happening. I'll bring it down a wee bit more because I really want to try to get in it. See, that's really nice, these wee dots. I want to really make it look as if this is being taken away. And it's quite a simple effect, this. But it's really nice. Not for Doctor Strange, but for us doing it, it's quite nice. And I'm liking how that looks. I might even go a wee bit finer just to try and get these edges. And I quite like that. If we're going to go back to the top layer, Doctor Strange is completely there and that's okay. I'm going to, I'm going to hide the layer that we just disintegrated or partly disintegrated. I'm going to show this Dr. Strange layer and we're going to go up to the liquify persona. If you've watched any of my tutorials, we'll spend quite a bit of time, a lot of time in the photo persona. We'll go into the selections persona quite often too, but liquify we have yet to go into, apart from maybe the beginner's tutorial, maybe, maybe looked at it very briefly. But for this effect to, to work, we really need to go into the liqui liquify. And what the liquify does is it just simply kind of moves objects. You can use the liquify. It's a bit like, how should I put this in? Uh, if you see people being photoshopped, mostly women being photoshopped, their size can be altered. And that is used in a liquify tool or the equivalent in Photoshop. It's used for that because you can kind of, let's see, let's go back to liquify. You can push, you can push bits in and you can pull bits out and you can see, you can do a better job than I'm doing, but you can see how that could be used to alter the shape of people. And uh, if people have been accused of Photoshop, Normally, the liquify tool or the equivalent in Photoshop has something to do with that. But we're not trying to change celebrities, figures. In this tutorial anyway, what we're trying to do is, and this looks horrible and a mess, but that's okay because we're just trying to not blur, but just kind of stretch Doctor Strange so that we've got lots more pixels to play with. And this brush isn't bad. We could, we could even make this brush much bigger and even use our finger just to really... And I know this is awful, but once we start putting in the pixels, it should look quite well. And you can see it before and after. Before, after. And his head starts about here and ends over there. His body over there. Yeah, this isn't bad. I might be tempted just to even stretch it. Stretch it a, a wee bit more. And I'm just going to apply that. So that looks absolutely horrendous. But what we're going to do is we're going to mask this out and then only add in certain parts. So if we use the plus icon and we're not going to mask the letter. We're not going to mask the layer. We're going to empty mask the layer. And now Doctor Strange has disappeared. He's still there but he's just masked out. And if you want more detail on masks, I made a mask video which went in quite in depth on, on masking. And the thing about masking is black means nighttime or dark. And at nighttime, you can't see anything. You can't see anyone. So that's why we can't see Doctor Strange. But if we use our brush tool and if we go to white or light, we should be able to see Doctor Strange here. So what I'm actually going to do is 
I'm going to put the bottom layer of Doctor Strange on. I'm going to make sure our brush is still... I think it was, but yep, it's still on that setting. We're going to bring this up. We're going to go back to our layer, which is hidden. Click on the mask, and now... It's quite big, so we'll make quite big bits here. And then we'll bring the size down and do a few smaller bits. And this is looking, we'll go smaller again. There's wee tiny bits. This is looking really nice. I've maybe smudged his face too much here so I'll maybe do something about that so I think that looks really well what we can do is we can go to black now and we can take away some of this face because it does look just it just looked like it was repeating too much let's see what's going on there and I think actually in this layer of Doctor Strange, I want a bit more of his face removed or disintegrated. And I think that'll help sell the effect a bit better. So we'll then change our brush to, or it is in black. We'll try to disintegrate some of this bit of the face. A wee bit bigger. It's all just trial and error or just yeah, that looks, that looks quite good. So if we turn the top layer on, we'll maybe change this to white. Just add a wee bit more in there. And I think that is looking pretty, pretty good. Do I maybe want to show a wee bit more of Doctor Strange's top hair. Oh, wrong color, Andrew. So I'm liking the look of that. It really looks like he's disintegrated. So there we have it. It's quite a simple technique, but it's a lot of fun. Feel free to try it on some of your photos or download Doctor Strange or Spider Man or other Avengers who may or may not have been snapped away. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something and maybe you have an idea who you would like to try this technique on. And just in a photo only, not, not in real life, of course. Please like this video. I would really appreciate that. Please subscribe as there's two or sometimes three videos come out every week. And until next time, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.